Hey team, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a full body beginner workout, right team? This workout is gonna consist of standing exercises only. Beginners, I've got your back. You don't need any equipment, your mat and your water bottle. Let's get ready to rock. All right, team, we're gonna start with just a simple warm up. We're gonna start with a side to side step with the chest fly. So it looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and step out with my right foot right here. The arms are gonna mirror, come out nice and wide. Bring the left foot towards it. Bring both hands together, right, team? Other foot goes and together. All right, team, alternating sides right here. This is a full body warm up, so you do need everything nice and loose. We are gonna stick with standing exercises only. So don't worry about getting up and down from the ground. Good, team. Beginners, I got you. So I had a lovely weekend my college friend one of my college friends that i have not seen since i graduated college 10 years ago was came into hawaii and so i got to hang out with her all day yesterday and it was awesome perfect team shake it off we're gonna go ahead and come into some high knee with arms up so it looks like this go ahead and pull one knee up pull both arms up overhead and the other knee goes up both arms go up overhead our team all standing sides right here good also remember to go at your own pace it's just a warm-up good um so anyways, I got to like take her around and when she said like, she's like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to see you. I can't believe it's been 10 years. It's like I hadn't put a number to it. And then I heard 10 years and I was like, oh, it has been that long. My gosh. Good team. Good. I feel like, like good friends, it doesn't matter how much time passes. When you're together, it's like no time has passed at all. Perfect team. Shake it up. Go ahead and take those feet nice and wide and come to some windmills. Sipping those arms out in a T formation to match the legs. Go ahead and bring that left hand towards my right toe, back to center. Bring the right hand towards the left toe, back to center, our team. Don't worry about touching your toe, just give it that intention. to get a nice little stretch going in those hamstrings. Beautiful. Good, don't go so fast that you give yourself whiplash. Take your time here. Good. It is a lovely day. Windy, but beautiful, nice and sunny. Good, team, we'll go up one more each side here, wherever you are, even it out. Good and go ahead and take it from the top. We'll come right back into that side to side step with a chest fly. Getting those shoulders warm, I'm feeling it. Good team. Good. So yeah, that happened. Um, I had a cool dream I was gonna tell you guys about, but I don't remember it. Oh, I'm hitting my water bottle by accident. Um, I'll tell you why she was here. Anyway, so while she was here, things that we did I took her to some like cool beaches and stuff she wanted to see some wildlife um go ahead and come right back into those high knees with the arms up she wants to see some wildlife so I took her to some beaches we did spot some turtles it's not turtle season but we did still spot them and it is whale season winter time is whale season um winter time in the northern hemisphere is <laughs> is whale season over here so we did see humpbacks standing from the beach we could just look out and see humpback whales so that was really cool um, I have never even seen those in Hawaii. <laughs> so I was like, oh good, what do you know? Putting on a show for you. Good team. Perfect, go ahead and come right back into those windmills, feet nice and wide, arms match it. Good. So we saw some whales, um, we went to breakfast, we went to dinner, came to my house and played some games. So much fun. Good team. Good. Stretching out those hammies. Beautiful. And it's interesting, um, kind of the growth phase between those 10 years was like age 22 to age 32. So at least for me, I was age 22 to age 32. So it's like that's, you just go through a lot during those years, I feel like. Perfect team. Shake it off, go ahead and walk those feet into your natural squat stance right here, just outside of hip width apart, and go ahead and come into some counterbalance squats. I'm gonna go ahead and squat it down, and the arm's gonna come out in front of you to counterbalance to help you sit those hips nice and back in space. All right, team, this workout is designed for beginners. So if you're not really getting super low in that squat, don't stress about it, just make it a goal of yours. Like maybe you come down to a bed height and back up, and then you work down to a chair. Maybe you wanna get some deep squats in, you work down to a stool, good. I'll be happy with 90 degrees, bring those hips down to knee height and back up. Good. And it'll help you get lower to send those arms out in front to counterbalance those weight, that weight. Good team. Let's go with a couple more here. Perfect. Go ahead and take the feet nice and wide as we come to a lateral lunge stretch. Go ahead and bend just the right knee. Get a nice stretch in the left groin. Good, and then bend just the left. Good, switch and switch, 
switch and switch. Good, so now from here, I'm gonna go ahead and pivot on the feet right here. I'm gonna go ahead and pivot onto my left foot forward and come onto the ball of my right foot, come into a nice high lunge. So option here, you're gonna bend that nice, bend that left knee nice, and option here to bend that right knee behind you to get that hip nice and underneath you. Push this right hip forward, pull the left hip crease her back. You feel a stretch in front of that right hip flexor. Good, deep breaths here. Especially if you have sensitive knees, don't worry about dropping that back knee so much. Just try and push that hip forward. Good. Perfect team, go ahead and pivot. Same thing, opposite side. Go ahead and pivot towards the right this time. Bend that right knee. Slight bend in the back left knee. Look, I'm getting my left and right mixed up. So I keep stuttering. I'm like, bend that right one. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Good team. Oh, I feel a little sprinkle. A little rain coming. Good team. This time, push that left hip, left hip forward and pull the right hip creaser back. Good. And then go ahead and come back to center right here. Walk those feet in so they're just about hip width apart right here. Bend at the hips and go ahead and place the hands just above the knees. We come into a standing cat cow stretch. Go ahead and drop the belly, look forward. Good, and curve, belly button to spine. Look it out, get a little weird, you need a little spinal movement going here. Good, big arch. And curve. Arch. And curve. And we'll go one more each. Big arch. And curve. Good team, go ahead and come back to center and stand it up. As we go ahead and come to some shoulder rotation, go ahead and take the right arm back, up and around. Draw like three big, slow circles here. And then switch directions. Opening up that chest. Beautiful. And then same thing, opposite side. Back, up and around. Good, take your time here. A little windmill action. And then same thing, opposite direction. Forward, up and back. Beautiful. Perfect team, get some water if you need it, and we'll come into our workout. All right team, so coming into the first half of this workout, this is a no repeat workout, we've got 10 different exercises. We'll do five, take a water break, and then do the other five. First exercise, we're gonna do some step out squats. I'm gonna start with my feet together. I'm gonna step out with my right foot, squat it down, come back to center, step out with my left foot, squat it down, come back to center. All right team, we got 30 seconds all staying sides right here. Let's work. Beautiful, remember to go at your own pace. Good. And you should be getting a little bit lower than you did during the warm up, hips feeling a little bit looser. Oh yeah, get down. Beautiful team. And it's amazing how many squats you can get in in 30 seconds. If you do these and you're like, all right, my legs are already tired. No shame in your game, all right team? <laughs> this is a beginner level workout. Good. <sighs> Beautiful. Push through it, you got this. Good. <sighs> Perfect team. Shake it off. We're gonna get that heart rate up as they come to a step to a high knee, step to back toe tap. So it looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and step out with my left foot, high knee with the right, step back with the right, back toe tap with the left, all right? Step, high knee, step, tap, step, high knee, step, tap. All right, team, we got 30 seconds staying on the same side, then we'll switch sides when you're ready, team. Let's work. Beautiful, get those arms pumping with it. Good, like you're power walking. Oh yeah, getting that heart rate up. So this workout is gonna mix up strength and cardio. Good. Lots of beginners aren't really huge fans of either one, so it's a nice mix of both. You have a nice balance. Good team. Good. Beautiful. So I'm reading um, a book right now called Once Upon a Wardrobe. Perfect team, shake it off. Same thing, opposite side. This time you're gonna step with the right, high knee with the left, step with the left, back toe tap with the right. All right team, there's I guess on the clock. Let's work. Um, and so it's called Once Upon a Wardrobe. And I'm just barely starting on like chapter three or so. Um, and I just love the language. Like it's, it's very well written. Good. So I'm not really that into the plot yet, so I can't really say much about that. But I love the, the language in this book so far. Good. So January I read The Wager. Um, the Wager, I did three. Um, the City Baker's Guide to Country Living. And Perfect Team, shake it off. Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. All right, team, go ahead and come. If you have a mat or towel, step towards the back of your mat or towel. If you don't, just step backwards. Our right, team, we're gonna go two walking lunges to march his back. So it looks like this. I'm gonna walking lunge, all right? Two lunges, and then I'm just gonna march it back to where I was. All right, team, when you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Beautiful, nice strong legs here. If you have sensitive knees, don't worry about getting super low in that lunge. Just do the best you can. So of those three, I thought the wager was the best like plot, that's a true story um, about a ship and a shipwreck and mutiny. And anytime I feel like you take 
like human survival to the brink, you know, um, you know, stranded and your ship is wrecked and you're stuck out there with the elements, you end up with a really epic story. Let's sneak one more in here. Good team. Perfect. Shake it off. I'm going to go ahead and come to some half jacks to a front kick. So it looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and come to a half jack, kind of like a jumping jack, but instead of jumping, you're just going to step out. I'm going to step out with one foot, back to center, front kick. Step out with the other foot, back to center, front kick. All right, team? Don't worry about kicking super high. All right, team, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Good. Nobody cares if you're kicking nice and low. Good, team. Just do the best you can. So it's okay if you're coming, kicking right here. Good. If it is a goal of yours to kick higher though, that's one thing you can do is like set out a stool and try and kick over the stool and then set out a chair and try and kick over the chair and just keep moving that item to taller and taller items. Good team. Good. Good, breathe through it, getting that heart rate up here. Perfect team. Shake it off, go ahead and take the feet nice and wide and come to some lateral lunge with a ground tap down. So go ahead and bend just the left knee right here. I'm gonna take my right hand reach towards the ground, back to center right here, bend just the right knee, reach towards the ground with that left foot, back to center, our team. Don't worry about touching the ground, just give it that intention if it's too far away. Don't worry about it, just give it the, that intention, our team. We got 30 seconds on the clock, let's work. This is another one where those, if you have sensitive knees and your lunge is not gonna get low enough to enable you to get down to the ground, so don't worry about it. Good. Beautiful. Good, this is one of those strength movements, so don't worry about speed on this one, focus on form. Good, really shifting that weight to the knee that's bending, that leg, and then strong pushback. Beautiful team, a few more seconds. And for those of you who are counting, this is exercise number five. So we're gonna take a water break in just a moment. Good. Perfect team, go ahead and walk those feet back together, get some water if you need it, and we'll come into the second half of our workout. All right, team, so coming into the second half of this workout, we're gonna start with a squat to a lateral leg lift. So go ahead and put your feet in your natural squat stance. We're gonna squat down, come on up, come on up. <laughs> Bring this right leg out to the side, engage that outer right hip right there. Squat back down, lateral leg lift with the left side. All right, team, engaging that outer hip. We got 30 seconds, all turning sides right here, team. Let's work. Squat it down, come on up. Good. Good, nice strong legs. Gonna work on your balance a little bit here too, coming onto that single leg stance. <sighs> Beautiful. Good team. Strong bodies here. Good. I notice when I sit a lot, um, this outer hip, the, my outer hips get fairly weak. So if you're someone with a desk job and you're like, this is oddly hard, that's probably why <laughs> you spend a lot of the day sitting because of your job. Um, and so, you know, be patient with yourself here. Good team. Perfect, shake it off. We're gonna come to an alternating reverse lunge to oblique crunch. It looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and shift my weight over towards my left foot. I'm gonna reverse lunge with the right foot. Come back to center right here. I'm gonna oblique crunch. I'm gonna bring my right leg out to the side and bring that right elbow towards it. Back down, reverse lunge, oblique crunch. All right, team, we got 30 seconds staying on the same side. Then we'll switch sides. When you're ready, team, let's work. Good, nice strong legs here. And when you do this oblique crunch, really exhale, squeezing into that side. Good, team those side abdominals, good. And don't worry about getting super low in that lunge. Like I said, this is for beginners. A lot of you guys might have some joint problems or some stiffness. Don't worry about it, team, just give it that intention. Beautiful. Do the best you can, that's all anybody can ask of you. Good. Good, and make sure you're bringing that arm up overhead when you come to that oblique crunch and bringing that elbow down to meet it. Perfect team, shake it off, same thing, opposite side. Go ahead and switch your way over towards that right foot. We've got 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work. Lunge it back, come up, oblique crunch. Good. And a lot of times it kind of takes a beat to find your balance on the opposite side. So show yourself some patience here. Good. Good, give it a few seconds and you'll get the hang of it. Good. I keep thinking about those whales. I was like, I was giving you guys a review and I told you guys I saw whales. I'm like, you know what? I really should go whale watching here. Get more of a close up of them. Good. My fiance is gone here and I didn't go. Perfect team. Shake it off. We're gonna come into a side to side step with some shoulder circles. Go ahead and bring those arms out in a T formation. I'm gonna side to side step and I'm gonna circle my arms like so. All right team, when you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. So my fiance is gone here. I get really seasick. So I didn't go. Um, but now that I've seen them from the shore, I'm like, I really wanna go. Um, and it's kind of, I think what's hard is like whale season in Hawaii, cause it's winter. 
also correlates with like the really strong waves. So that makes me really hesitant. I'm like, oh, I'm definitely gonna get seasick doing that. Are the whales worth it? I kind of think they are. They're really cool. <laughs> Good team. Good. Beautiful. And I got these new um, ginger pills. Perfect team. Shake it off. We're gonna come to some alternating reverse kicks. So it looks like this. I'm just gonna hinge at the hips right here. Take this right leg, kick it back. Come back to standing, hinge at the hips, take the left foot back, back to standing. All right, team, all straight sides right here. We got 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work. Kind of same drill as before. Don't worry about kicking super high. You do need to hinge at the hips to give yourself space to get that leg up. Beautiful. Good. Good team. Um, so I have these ginger pills that I discovered in Australia. I got seasick when we went scuba diving on the Great Barrier Reef. Um, and they gave me a ginger pill. It's just concentrated ginger. So it's like a nice natural remedy for motion sickness. Work like a charm. So she gave me a few of those to take home. Um, and now I have the brand so I can order more. Perfect team. Shake it up. We're gonna come to an alternating Frankenstein right here. So it looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and kick. I'm gonna bring both arms up overhead. I'm gonna kick one arm forward, bring the arms down towards it. Frankenstein. All right, team, when you're ready, I got 30 seconds alternating sides right here. Let's work. Good. Beautiful team. Good. Um, so per usual, don't worry about kicking super high. Um, yeah, so I am a big fan of natural remedies. Like. I've actually like debated studying herbology, but I was like, I don't know if I want to study it or if I just want to get some books on it, you know, and read. Um, but I, I'm definitely a believer that food is medicine. Um, and I do think herbs and spices and stuff and stuff that grows right out of the earth can help us cure a lot of our ailments. Perfect team, shake it out, get some water if you need it, then we'll come into our cool down. All right, team, so coming into a cool down, we're gonna start with an overhead side body stretch. So go ahead and bring both arms up overhead. Get a hold of the right wrist with the left hand and think up and over as you bring that right hand towards the left side. Good, you should make, making like a crescent moon shape with the body, get a nice stretch throughout the right side body. Good team, good. Yeah, I'm into like herbology, I would love. Um, I think it would be really fun to become like an expert in that. Go ahead and come back to center right here, grab a hold of the left hand and think up and over, reaching towards the right, get a full stretch in the left side body. Um, becoming like an expert in that and getting like, making like herb teas that'll like help with whatever it is, is ailing people. Um, I think that'd be a really cool job. Good team. It sounds like, like I'm saying making potions, but I mean, sometimes I feel like nature's stuff is kind of like potions. I'm like, it is like magic food. Like it, <laughs> it really will help you with a lot of your problems. Good team. Go ahead and come back to center right here. Go ahead and come to a quad stretch. I'm going to go ahead and you can grab onto a wall for support. Bring that left foot up behind you. Get a hold of that left ankle with the left hand right here. Stare at something stable. So not me because I'm human and I am perfectly capable of falling over. So relax right here. Feel a nice, feel a nice stretch in the front of that left quad, the front of your left leg there, left thigh. Good. For learning our muscles, the front of your thigh muscle is called your quad, your quadricep. Good team, go ahead and drop, shake it off. Same thing, opposite side, switch that weight over towards your left foot, bring that right foot up behind you. Get a hold of the right ankle with the right hand and flip it behind. See, there I go. Good team, if you're like me, then your balance is gonna be a lot better on one side more than the other. That's okay, that's why we do this. That way you can at least become aware of it and work on it, practice it, get better. All right, I'm giving up on that, sorry. <laughs> Perfect, shake it off. Go ahead and take the feet nice and wide as we come to a wide leg hamstring stretch. Go ahead and hinge at the hips, reach for the ground right here. Maybe we can come onto some yoga blocks. Maybe we can fingertip the ground. Maybe we can palm the ground. Good team, just give it backs of those legs, the backs of those thighs are called hamstrings. Good. Oh, ladybug. Hi, baby. Good. Both hands over towards the right ankle. Good. And then go ahead and walk both hands over towards the left. Beautiful team. Good, and then go ahead and come back to center right here. Good, and take your time, slowly rolling it up, vertebrae by vertebrae, feel that out. Good, and when you reach the top right here, and go ahead and walk the heels in, and then the toes and heels and toes. do -si do all the way back to center. Bring the left foot forward and the right foot back right here. Come into a nice high lunge like you did in that warm-up, so push that right hip underneath you, pull the left hip creaser back. This time we're gonna interlace the fingers behind the back and pull those shoulders down and away, slight back bend, open up the chest, gaze goes up. 
I'm trying to go quickly because I can see these giant rain clouds over my head. Good <laughs> team. Deep breaths here. So you feel a stretch in the front of your shoulders and the front of that right hip flexor. Good. Deep breaths here, taking that heart rate back down. And when you're ready, we'll go ahead and release, shake it off, bring that back foot up to meet the front. Same thing opposite side. This time, go ahead and step the left foot back, push that left hip forward, get that right hip underneath you. Sorry, push the left hip forward, pull the right hip creaser back. And this time, interlace the fingers behind the back and place the opposite thumb on top. So thumb that feels a little bit funky. And then pull those shoulders down and away, opening up the chest. Good, deep breaths here. Beautiful team, slight back bend. I would say let the sun in, but the sun is covered with clouds. Let the imaginary sun in, good. Good team, go ahead and release. Shake it off, bring those feet back together as we say our farewells for today. So feet come together right here, palms face forward, mountain pose. I'm gonna step a little bit forward because I feel like I'm off center. All right, mountain pose. And on an inhale, go ahead and bring both arms up overhead. Big clap, giant namaste, make a round of applause because you deserve it. And then go ahead and bring both palms down to the third eye. If you guys enjoyed this workout, please hit the like button and subscribe because I have new workouts every single week and always fun stories. The divine in me, honest, the divine in you. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time.